Hello YouTube, it's me Justin, June 25th, 2018. Uh, this will be my last video of the night. I'm extremely tired. Got to get up early at 4 a.m. 4.30 a.m. Actually, sleep in. Uh, to do some more concrete work. Troll. Anyways, um, wanted to report on a, another holistic um, doctor that was murdered. That makes 88 holistic um, doctors that have been murdered in the last two years, less than two years. And most of them have come back as um, suicides. Just almost like the uh, Clintons. Um, these doctors, one was found shot nine times in the head with a nail gun. It was ruled a uh, suicide. One female a uh, holistic doctor was found in her bathtub stabbed I believe eight to nine times in her back and they ruled it a suicide just um, asinine stuff but um, the reason why I'm bringing this up is uh, this was brought up in a live chat and this is more directed to you uh, micro homesteader because uh, I said that I believed it was 84 and um, you were in the 30 range, but right here it's uh, 88 um, that have been murdered in a two-year span. And uh, if I can say his name right, uh, Dr. Tristan Bedet, gunned down in California in front of his two small daughters. Now, these doctors are um, basically exposing uh, Big Pharma. They are coming out with... Um, medicines that heal herbal medicines and basically they are a threat to big pharma because they have the um, the ability the knowledge you know just like um, Prophet Easy One, Boneyard, Rolling Homestead um, a lot of these uh, brothers in Christ and you know I know there's some sisters you know, in Christ out there that have the knowledge too of these herbs that um, that actually heal and you know kill cancers and you know uh, help fight and kill Hep C you know cure people from all these things that big pharma um, does not want people to know because doctors do not make money off of healthy people and neither does big pharma so 88 doctors in two years and I'm sure they're gonna some way spin this and say it was a uh, suicide that you know, or he hired somebody to kill. I don't know. It's just sad, sick world we live in. Then I was just watching some breaking news. I guess it happened this morning. A, a 77 year old elderly man set fire to his own room in a retirement home and waited for first responders to show up. And he shot, I think, a total of three firefighters, killing one, um, one in critical condition, and another one in fair condition. Just evil is upon us, for sure. So, anyways, prayers for all these victims. And especially prayers for these two young girls that had to witness their father uh, gunned down and murdered, just so... Big Pharma can keep uh, filling their pockets. Hate to be in their shoes on Judgment Day. Fear no man. Never fear death. Get right with God. Fight the good fight. Stay locked and loaded 100%. Later. God bless.